Hello, everybody. Welcome to the podcast, the final podcast of 2021, probably, possibly. I don't know. We'll see. Um, how was your guys' year? Cough, cough. Eh. Wink, wink. Giggle, giggle. No? You don't have a response today? You're just going to... I, I don't even know who is here at this point. Oh, well, it's me, you, uh, Dark Wave, and Galactic. But when I say Galactic, I mean Galactic. And, uh... I think they died. I don't know what happened to them. And Wave Dark. I don't know who Galactic is, but... <laughs> I know who Galactic is, and he knows who uh, he is. I don't know who that is. Oh, he's never been a person on this podcast. Galactic has always been a... He's been the number one person on the podcast. Galactic. <laughs> I don't know who that is, but that doesn't exist. I don't know either. Wow. You don't even know who you are no more? That's, uh... That you should you should be... You shouldn't be so ashamed of yourself, man. Why are you so ashamed of yourself? Who is he talking to? Like, I'm confused. I don't know. Like I, I call you. <laughs> all right, all right, this all right. Close to your name. <laughs> yes, <laughs> but no, but no joke. How was you guys this year? Of course, this year was a, a year of nonsense. <clears throat> Horrible, <laughs> uh, especially for you, sir. Uh, considering that what's going on with you is literally still going on with you, and it's not going to be done any fucking time soon. Yep. Jesus Christ. Missing Christmas, man? I can't believe this. This is bullshit. Yes. It's it's cancer. But you know, we'll be fine. Yeah, man, as long as you're okay. You you sound sick as fuck. Uh, I'm a, no, I'm fine. No. You sound like you have a penis in your nose. Huh? I, I say you sound like you got snot up your nose. I, that's not what I heard. I, how did you hear anything <laughs> different from that? You what are you thinking about right now? Anything come out of your mouth that's not gay. Okay, <laughs> hey. <laughs> ah, ah. I see. I see. The PR is still needed. Yes, of course, it will always be needed. You know. Yeah, it's, it's, only, it's only one person. The PR <laughs> is only needed for one fucking person in this whole thing. Everybody else is fine. It's just for some reason this one person in this whole entire thing. Like I don't know what what it is. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, I got some good news. No, you don't. No, I don't. Man, <laughs> considering that we went from some of the, you know, earliest jokes, like the, you know, Japanese prison rape to, to Vince McMahon's asshole. Steerheaded by you, all steerheaded by you. <laughs> no, you not all You made spearheaded me. By, no, all spearheaded by you. Jesus Christ! So we just have a 2021 beatdown today of of nonsense. I didn't spare all spearheaded it. by you. Prove it. Find the podcast. They're all on the internet. Where I spearheaded Japanese butt rape. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> oh, so I like to. Thank and you're you proud guys. of yourself for this. Wait, I am. I am very proud of myself. Really? Yeah. Yeah, you did this. Yes, Japanese. Anal rape is is a thing that only I, I invented it. That's to make it even funnier. No one else has invented that. No, but no joke. Thank you guys for being here. Of course, you know you guys are always a treat. Always a pleasure to work with you guys here on the podcast. Don't lie to me. I am lying to you. Yes, it has not been a pleasure. It's been a living hell and a nightmare, especially with you, Galactic. I mean, my bad, Galactic. Anywho, so let's talk wrestling first because we can talk games a little bit later. Not gonna be too long process. How um, uh, everybody been keeping up with the products? The products? Yeah, all of them. Any of them? Excuse me. Oh, we're talking about wrestling. Oh yeah. God. Yeah. Um, hell, hell no. <laughs> I told you, I stopped watching WWE. I just literally stay around for the social media. Mm. 
Yeah, I thought I was joking when I said I'm not watching it no more. Oh, you are not joking. I also have not seen a thing on WWE or any wrestling in a long time. Jesus Christ. How busy have you been? Uh, it's not even about being busy. I just, he, he not watching this shit either. <laughs> I just don't even. I, like, I can't. <laughs> See? Oh my god. That's how that's how serious it is. Oh my god, the Windows update is sexy. But yeah. Oh man, I I didn't think you would know uh, abandon it, man. I didn't I thought you'd watch it, you know, consistently like everybody else in the world. He thought wrong. Everybody I, else. Uh, who? Who is everybody else in the world? The millions of people. Anywho. So realistically, recently Roman Reigns has uh, betrayed Paul Heyman that they've been teasing for fucking ever. I did, I did see, see that. that. I did see that, but that's just because coincidence. Yeah. So yeah, that uh, that's bullshit. So why is Roman Reigns getting rid of the best part of his uh, of his gimmick? It's just his wise man, Paul Heyman. It, does anybody think that's a good idea, or am I tripping? I don't know if just switch over out of Bluetooth. Listen, oh, I haven't okay. been watching for a while. However, if it's for the sake of story, which from what I gather, it seems like it is for the sake of story. It seems like this this getting rid of Paul Heyman has an end point, which is something we haven't seen in WWE for how long? A story with an end point? I'm fine with it as long as they have some sort of payoff. And that is yet to be seen. You know, we, we're we not don't know have the payoff. You know, we're not we don't know yet. The only thing this I can think of that WWE they're sitting there just doing it as a as a swerve or something to make Brock Lesnar, I guess, think, "Oh, okay, Paul, I'm gonna back with you." I I don't know. That's, I don't know. But that's, that's cheap. That's writing. the only thing I can think of. That's, that's what they do all writing. the time, though. Really, sir, sir, what what company are we talking about here? <laughs> You're right. If they were to do that, though, it would be the worst way to go about it. They've done worse. They've done way worse. They, they, these people are the laziest people I have ever seen in my life. Like Jesus, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie to you. Like that's, that's literally what I'm expecting. I'm expecting something fucking stupid to happen out of literally nowhere when it comes to this goddamn uh, payoff. What was that noise? Oh shit. My computer's back up. Give me just a moment. We're gonna pause it here. Oh, Lord. So gold takes hours. So we're literally continuing from where we the fuck we left off. What the Don't hell? Don't you fucking cuss at me? I can curse whoever I want to curse at on this goddamn. Podcast. Oh, fuck you can't. Yes, I can, and I'm cursing at you. We you actually haven't said a cuss word since. Fuck. So That's what? not directed towards me. Shit. What up? Uh, Wait, what? Yeah, what what are exactly were you talking about? Uh, we were talking about, uh, you know, Roman Reigns, how okay. he betrayed, <laughs> yeah, he betrayed uh, Paul Heyman, and now I don't think it's going to be a good payoff, and Galactic was saying, you know. Yeah, no, yeah nothing. Uh, <laughs> I didn't want to say that. I see nothing. So. <laughs> yeah. You said uh, what? I was saying it's more of the same. I see nothing's changed since I've left. Nothing. Yeah, nothing. Right. See, Roman nothing. Still, yeah. You know, the big dog, uh, head of the table, and he's still, you know, starting to become stale as fuck. And uh, apparently, people don't understand that. Roman himself doesn't understand it either. You know how he's becoming stale as fuck. I think it's because they need to keep him off the fucking TV. Realistically. Well, when you fire everybody and everybody. Who the exactly. Fuck? <laughs> I mean, you ain't got nobody left. When you fire everybody cheap at this point, I'm surprised the fucking women haven't started. They, you know, I don't know. You know, what? you know, he's gonna fire all the women. What? What's my case? Shit, they about to have Charlotte Flair win the WWE title. What's my case? At this point, if they do that, you know, it's you'll hear at the Royal Rumble. Dur, 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 dur. Oh my God! It's Charlotte. That's all you're gonna hear. Oh. <laughs> Number thirty. 
Oh my god, you said number three. Jesus, <laughs> Brock Lesnar over the edge of the <laughs> You are ugly. Hey, yo, but he's right, though. Don't be surprised if Charlotte gets those Brock Lesnar over the ropes or something, and next thing you know, we got the new <laughs> Ugly. Would you not? <laughs> Charlotte Flair is the first ever female <laughs> I love ugly. Come on, that was straight up ugly. Would you They're not so watch the product after that, though? though? It, it, well, I'd be forced to watch it. What the fuck are they gonna do? <laughs> you, <laughs> Charlotte's gonna come out. I told all of you, I'm the greatest wrestler of all time. <laughs> 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 and then Randy Orton. And yeah, Randy she needs to stop doing the fucking, uh, what should we call it, too? Not, if her and Andrade ain't together, bitch, mm. go ahead and stop doing his, uh, his moonsault. She, she, uh, Charlotte's about to run through the men's division, then you're gonna have Randy say fuck it and go down to the women's division. <laughs> Yo! At this point, at this that'd point, that'd be so I mean, fucking disgusting, well. son. If Randy goes straight to the women's division, I'm gonna be like, "Yo, what the fuck is wrong?" I mean, you had Nia Jax walk her fat ass into the men's joint. <laughs> <That's not okay. laughs> Why are you so rude? I'm just saying, like that's that's where we're that's... going. Oh yeah, Nia Jax did did title. just just walk into a, a whole right, ass. So I'm not like, so it's not like I was lying. No. No, oh, she so said her fat ass. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All of the titles will be merged out of nowhere. <laughs> yeah. So I just go ahead. One just uh, black. It's just gonna look a hot ass mess. Look like somebody spray painted. They just gonna spray paint the colors just on the belt. <laughs> yep, it's gonna be rainbow colored. <laughs> but why though? That would be my main question. I'd be like, because WWE. they fired everybody, so everybody needs to compete for one belt to make it make sense. You know, it's never gonna make sense. WWE is not going to ever make sense. Shit, with Triple H did it out of commission. The hell yeah, it's not gonna make no sense. Oh yeah. By the way, the guy that's in charge—they're uh, thinking about putting that uh, con guy in charge of WWE. Once Vince retires, finally, or it's dies. Con? Yeah. We yeah. already knew that. He's already the one in charge. Yeah. He's kind of... He's uh, the one that's sitting there firing people, putting the thing together to fire people. They need to make Triple H in charge. Mm. But no. He he on his second life. Triple H, he yeah. T- Triple H got a... Yeah, he just got a new... Yeah, his heart. Mm-mm. He said, fuck this. It's because... Listen, I'd be stressed, too. My heart would be fucked up too if I had the company and Vince just said, <laughs> And then could you imagine like the holidays and shit like that? Like how awkward this is? Like, oh, it's, we gotta go to my dad's house. Stephanie, Stephanie would be like, we're gonna go visit my dad. No, no, I'm not visiting your fucking parents. Fuck your dad and that father. You, you, you and the that. kids can go. You and you the kids can go. Goodbye. Yeah, he's the reason I'm stressed. I'm trying to save this <laughs> company and every single, every single thing he does just undoes my progress. Yep. Every single time. It's my ass. He's my ass. He's probably the, probably Triple H is only still there literally because because they're fucking stuffy. <laughs> and did you see that their eldest kid start is you know they're she's uh you know practicing and stuff like that. How old is she? Daughter. I was asking about the answer today. Same question. You know, she's not... I said I was really thing like that. Yeah, I... Oh. Well, you know, they, well, you know, schools and stuff like that have the rest of the programs. So, you know, you can just do the rest say, of the how old is her? How old is their daughter to be out here practicing and running the ropes? She, she in the next couple of years, we about to hear time to play that game. Except for with a... Pretty much! Charlotte Flair's gonna have her 50th belt, and then you're just gonna dare, dun, 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 time to play the game! <laughs> a, a girl's gonna walk out. you like, who is... you like, what the fuck is happening right now? How the fuck did, uh... What a, uh, is Triple H wrestling? <laughs> huh? How is this possible? What? Triple H is wrestling? Why? 
but uh, shit, Triple H's daughter about to be the craziest. Uh, she about to be worse than Charlotte. She gonna have fifty belts by the time it's her first year is over. Bro, her first match is gonna be a championship match. She's gonna roll up to the next match. She's gonna roll up another person and get all the belts. In fact, here's what's gonna happen. She's gonna walk into the ring, trip, roll up uh whoever the yeah, female trip. champion. Yeah, whoever the female. <laughs> <laughs> whoever Sorry, the female, up. whoever the female champion is, and then simultaneously while rolling them up, tumble into the universal champion and pin them. I then, hate you. I <laughs> hate you. And then tumble to the WWE champion, the tag team champions, and everything, and win all the belts. You, do you not want to see that? Nobody wants to see that. No. 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 <laughs> That'd be Shit, fucking. Instead of the sledgehammer, they're gonna give her like a Harley Quinn joint or whatever. They're gonna give her the, the golden shovel from her father. Her father's gonna be like, "I'm handing this to you, baby girl." Oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> it's a shovel. It's the golden shovel. <laughs> used to bury many talents for no reason back in the day. Oh my god! But yeah, uh, apparently. Uh, back on topic. Yes, his daughter is thinking about wrestling, and it is fucking nonsense. That's the case with most people, you know. Though with most of these wrestlers, their children like watch up. They they watch them growing up, so they want to be part of the business. So you know, it, it makes sense. Nepotism is a yes. Yeah, so, I mean, you know, Simone Rockstar. She's uh in the PC and stuff. Although I don't know how the fuck that's gonna work. Join the bloodline. <laughs> well, no. Well, this chick only like nineteen, twenty. She already had like two knee replacement surgeries. Damn. 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 <laughs> Damn. Like, to, like, you ain't even being rude with it. Like it's actually, yeah. I don't know how this will work. Like my my girl, you are you even able to walk to the fucking ring? She gonna wrestle like the great Kali. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Everybody knows the great Kali wrestled like he had five knee replacements just on his way. He has. <laughs> he literally has. Like I think he's in pain. Like when he walks. Not the great Kali being the bronze kneecap. Uh, he is. He kind of is worse than the fucking bronze. He is. Ugh. All right. The but... wood plank kneecap. <laughs> <laughs> but I do have a question for you guys. Uh, when do you think that, uh, when do you think Roman Reigns is going to lose that goddamn belt? I don't Never. think it will be the Brock Lesnar. Uh, I know it's not going to be the Brock Lesnar. Predictable. I don't think it will be the Brock Lesnar. And I haven't been watching the product enough to tell you who my guests will be. Oh, oh, I, I'll, I'll, I'll help you. Um, no one's been built up. Ah. Oh, no. <laughs> Why did you say like Knuckles oh, from I'll Sonic Adventure too? I'll also tell you as well. Roman might have had his belt for forever. Roman, you think Roman's gonna That's have fine. his belt for the next twenty? He's years? gonna have the belt for another year. He's gonna have the yeah. Because if no one else is being built up at this point, and it's been a long time since he's had that title, he's, already, yep. he's gonna have it for another year. I and who knows they're gonna start recruiting talent. I hear a lot of uh, this is a rumor I did stumble upon the other day. Apparently, MJF is someone WWE is looking upon to try and recruit. You know, it's not gonna work. Yeah, but like you know, still, it's a thing. So maybe they're gonna try and bring in some big talent and instantly push them to the top, and then have them flop, and then. Fire them. And fire them, yeah. All within a year. And then give the belt back to Roman. Yeah, literally, that's what's going to happen. Like, you know, I I don't even know. Who is he about to wrestle after Brock Lesnar, actually? That's the thing. They don't have Edge. Are they going to bring Edge back? No. Hmm? No. Hmm? God, no. Like, what are we going to do? I'm I'm good. How about you just wrestle? You know what? I'm thinking about it. He has nobody to fucking wrestle. Whoever wins this Royal Rumble. What? Is Big E still... Whoever wins the Royal Rumble upcoming is going to wrestle Roman. But... 
Question, does Biggie still have the title? Yes, he does. Of course, because there's no one else on that side either. He's about to face, like, I've... four people simultaneously. Because it's... it's like Kevin Owens, Bobby Lashley, I think, and I don't even know if Drew McIntyre are still in the contention. I don't even know. Drew McIntyre is still in contention. Fortunate. First off, I don't care about Drew McIntyre unless I hear Broken Dreams. And then uh, Seth Rollins. Don't care about any of them. Unless I hear Broken Dreams, specifically with Drew McIntyre, and he goes back to to Broken Dreams and comes out and starts fucking people up. I don't care. And then we're going to go with... Uh, out of that matchup, I can see them making Big E lose to Seth. I I don't know. Seth Rollins is doing the best work on that brand, therefore he might as well just be champion. Uh, I feel like so I, yes. Yeah, so I've heard Seth has been doing a lot. I would of actually probably say RK Bro is actually. They're still a thing. Oh, yeah, a single. Yep. Oh this, shit! Okay. Yeah, this is a single title thing. Yeah, honestly. Honestly, it I do see him on day one. I do see Biggie losing to somebody, but considering Kevin Owens just signed, I was honestly going to say Kevin Owens. When was the last time you heard Kevin Owens winning the champion? He deserves it too because he's been working his ass off, and yeah, he, he just resigned, so he ain't going nowhere. I don't know why he resigned. He's on crack, but you know who cares? They probably fire him in a couple months, so it don't matter. <laughs> yeah, he'll he'll be gone, and then he'll wait the ninety days. We don't know what to do with you, Kevin. So bye, <laughs> <laughs> bye, <Bye-bye. laughs> and we'll fucking do it again. I'll do it again. <laughs> bye, bye. <laughs> I'll do it again. Anywho, um, <laughs> wait a second. Ugly. Wait a second. Wait a wait a wait a minute. I'm looking at the match card for for day one right now. Um, who the fuck is Madcap Moss? Huh? Who's Madcap? Madcap Moss. Oh, is that Riddick Moss? It's fucking Riddick Moss. Then he gets. I thought Riddick got fired. So Riddick Moss is gonna get Drew McIntyre? Why? Why the fuck is that a match on the pay per view? Why? I don't know. Did he get fired? I don't know. No. I'm pretty sure Riddick Moss got fired. I, I I'm also in I'm I I am confusion. I could have swore he got fired. Oh they could have easily rehired him, and this could be a rumor. Mad Cat Moss is going against fucking Drew McIntyre in a what the fuck is going on here match. Uh, you know what else is another what the fuck is going on here match? The Edge versus no Edge versus the Miz. Why the Miz? That's says Maurice is back. I mean, granted, we did we in, it, fucking did anybody fucking care about Maurice? No. No. Yes, I care about Maurice. Why do you I care don't about give a Maurice? Fuck you cared about. In fact, in fact, she needs to beat Becky Lynch for the Raw Women's Title. Whoa there. I Whoa. I don't care. This is, uh, Maurice is one of the best wrestlers we've ever seen in our generations. Yeah, so moving the conversation forward. Um, <laughs> yeah, just to sit here because, you know, Beth is gone. So that gives something, you know, Beth come back. You know, come on over there and do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need a Benny. Like, to be completely honest. First things first, I really, really hope, right? I really hope they get rid of 24. Okay? They really need to get rid of that. That belt is so fucking dumb. It, it, I, why does. When did Dana Brooke get that fucking belt? Probably somewhere on social media. Huh? No, she got on Monday Night Raw. By pinning somebody. Oh, by pinning Cedric Alexander. That's right. Oh, speaking of Cedric Alexander, what happened to that guy? Buried. Yes. So, they got the hurt 
certification back together. For this. When? The Hertz? Wait, the Hertz certification? Yeah, the Hertz certification. Back together. Hence why they banded together against Goldberg for some fucking reason. But then... Not Goldberg being around still. Yeah, the Hurt conglomerate. Uh, fucking... You were ugly. You know I'm never gonna call them their proper name. And I'm still not gonna do it. Because they're never gonna be a business with only one person It's only doing anything. Hence why... The head of the table or the family is literally trash compared to Roman Reigns. Like, get out of here. The Usos they, they lose. They just need to add someone else to the faction. Just and here's they what they're gonna do. Naomi in there. Nope. Keep Naomi she ain't out of that doing group. Shit. She legit she's, is not doing shit. She's going against the authority. Of she's America. been going up against fucking Sonya Deville for months. What is yeah. the payoff? What is the fucking point? What is the goddamn point? Uh, Months uh, or nothing. It's not even explain. They didn't even explain why she does not even like Naomi at all. Just not just. Oh. At, at this point, at this fucking point, that's what I'm just assuming too. At this fucking point. Did you? Did you just, oh, did you, she got a nice ass, and uh, and I can't get with her because she already married. So I'm gay, but I want her. But I, that that's just my speculation. I'm just speculating that Sonya wants her, and Naomi just said no, no. I, I'm not clapping my cheeks for you. So now Sonya is just. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh oh okay. Oh, no. I I don't know what else. I hey WWE makes us come to our own conclusions about stuff and storylines. So this is what I came to. Oh wow, that's uh, that's a, a far leap. That's the furthest leap I've ever heard. <laughs> what uh, else am I supposed to say? Oh, I, I don't know. I can't really. I can't really fault you. I, it, it, well, I mean, Sonya's gay. Naomi's pretty. Sonya was probably like, "Hey, what that mouth do?" And Naomi was like, "Nah." <laughs> so. What's that mouth? What is wrong with you? I don't know. The- why is it the Peter guy acting right now? What's it going on? <laughs> I ain't getting a strap on. What are you talking about? Uh, I'm, going to, I'm going to need the PR guy to step in, please. Dog, please. <laughs> what are you talking about? I mean, I, I didn't say anything but necessarily that wrong, though. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. That's yeah, not that's that that what that's, it's, 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 it's getting a strap, man. <laughs> So you can't you can't just say what that mouth is. She got you know you know doggy style of thing. Oh well, yeah, I mean you know they, you know they do some carpet munching, so you know got to figure out what that mouth does. So with the PR person, please step up and do your goddamn job, please. All right, I got it. Oh my god, so much. Galactic. Okay. Hello. <laughs> what are you doing right now? I got a phone call. Oh my god. <laughs> This is the worst time for you to get a fucking phone call. Oh my Did you just hear my whole phone call? No! So- <laughs> Did you not hear anything that was said on this podcast? I'm oh, sorry, I got a phone call. Did you not? Nope. Just- <laughs> <laughs> my guy. Good job. There what we happened? Go. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> and I get away with murder. Yes, of course you do get away with murder because the PR guy was not paid attention. <laughs> he was in the car. I get away with murder. For the Dotsits. And I can't even prove it besides stopping the podcast, going rewind and going, yeah, here you go. Because somebody was on the... <laughs> somebody said something they weren't supposed to say. Exactly. So now I'm going to get canceled. No, no, no. I mean, it's too late for that. This podcast. <laughs> Yeah, it's definitely way too late. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting canceled. Ah, oh, shit. All right. <clears throat> but moving on, because that was just disgusting. It was disgustingly funny. Wait, yeah, yeah, if Sony Deville ever go, what that mouth do to fucking on, on live television, I'm literally going to cut the game. Cut off life. <laughs> <laughs> Never watch a fucking... T- <laughs> that, I, ayo, if she, if she ever realistically said that, would you not be confused? Uh, Cause that that's what was said. That's hey, what that mouth do? Like what the fuck? I don't know what you're talking about. Mm-hmm. Can't even prove it. I'm fucking proof. <laughs> Anywho, oh, not the Seth Rollins laugh. Jesus Christ. Um, 
Now, moving on. Back to day one. Uh, so you know we got Becky Lynch versus Liv Morgan. Um, if anybody cares, I'm just announcing that Yeah, match. I've been seeing that. You Apparently know, but, a lot of people really, really want to get behind, well, some people not only want to get behind Liv, you know, never mind. Anyway, um, so... Anyways. anyways <laughs> oh, anyways. Um, so, yeah, a lot of people have actually been rallying with Liv Morgan. A lot of people want to see her win. I mean, we have been rallying with her for since I stopped watching, and I'm surprised they still haven't pulled the trigger. Oh, well, I'm not surprised. I can't say I'm surprised. I'm just disappointed. You know, they're not going to pull the trigger. They can pull that trigger. They're not going to. You know they're not going to. Pull the devil trigger. They can do it. This is what they did with, uh, what's the name? Bianca Belair. They're supposed to pull that trigger, but. <laughs> yeah, let's not talk about that bullshit. We all know what happened with that shit. Like, serious. We, we all have. We. What's going on? See. It. Yeah, I, I, I love Bianca. Everybody loved Bianca. Fucking lost it. Seconds. And at that point, I was just like, I'm not taking this shit seriously ever again. Okay, yep. Becky, kiss my ass. Yeah. And then, like, literally every time they fucking would talk or have a, a section, I'm not watching it. I said, I'm not taking that shit seriously. Also, the match was originally supposed to be a fatal four-way for the unification of the belt. And if for some reason they changed it back to just Becky. I don't know why they did I think it's because people. Who's here, by the way? Huh? Who's here, by the way? Okay. Because I don't know, like they thought about it, and then they're like, "Hey, then we'll have to put in too much work because then we'll have to have all these women show them." Uh, let's just go back to separate brands. Yeah, because they're going to uh, unify the belts, because you know, if anybody. Uh, knows anything um there were no divisions it's just at all yeah. there's no tag team division they're damn sure they need to unify those belts and they're damn sure ain't no women's division yep uh, but you know the word at all <laughs> yeah the word rumbles. but um I also noticed that Charlotte Flair doesn't have an opponent on this paper. That's weird. weird. Uh, you said she doesn't? No. I'm surprised. Uh, they also have the Usos versus the New Day. We, look. Look, look. Oh! Let's be realistic. I have not seen that before. Yeah, let's be realistic. We both know that the New Day is going to win the belts again. For the 30th. Like, Okay. We, we we all know this. And then there's, of course, Biggie's match in which Biggie's going to lose to one of his uh, opponents. First of all, I didn't like what they did to put Bobby Lashley in his fucking match. Bobby Lashley could not be in this match. He beat the champion. I do not care what excuse me, anybody fucking says. Please, God, stop letting people be the champion in singles matches. It makes your champion look dumb. What? Shit, man. It, it, what? It, it really agitates me on a fierce level when if I'm a champion and you beat me with a non-title match, like, what? Why? <laughs> What's the point? Because it's lazy writing. So they figure, oh, okay, well, if yeah, we get now the we champion can. to get beat, then that person then can be like, well, I beat you, so I deserve a title match. There you go! Yay, right to self. That's why Seth Rollins was in the match against such and such because pin, he pinned such and such, so we ain't got shit else, so there you go. We can't think of nothing. All right, there you go. Have fun. Do you remember when we were all younger and Galactic was a baby? On what happened? To get title matches? 
Anybody remember? Okay. Literally, they would have number one contenders match. Or matches to get to number one. And literally, person would win or lose. And then, yeah. Yeah. And they would get the title match. Whoever wins the match gets the title match gets the champion. In which was not only more believable, but it made more sense. The champion and the person did not touch each other until their fucking match. Can you imagine if Stone Cold lost to The Undertaker before his match at SummerSlam? Like 96 or 7, whatever that was. Can you imagine that? That how dumb that would have been? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, that, that would have been fucking stupid. And you would have been like, bro, this is stupid. By the way, Naomi fought um, Shayna Baszler. No. Yeah, she's been also fighting Shayna Baszler. Shayna Baszler apparently is Sonya Deville's lackey now, I guess. Yeah, that was that's weird. Also, Baron Corbin and Riddick Moss stole the sword, stole the desk. So he took. They took the sword out of. They took Adam Pierce's desk, which had Baron Corbin's sword. The uh, Drew McIntyre sword. Whatever. That's the reason why they're fighting. Oh. So apparently, we're gonna have a shitty match. Shitty. Uh, Dana Baszler is definitely the lackey of Tony. Mm-hmm. Oh, and Shayna Baszler lost that match, by the way. I can't wait. Oh, yeah. And I don't know what's gonna happen. Uh, by the way, the Usos in the New Day fought at uh, SmackDown, so you know, you're gonna see. like imagine if we watched SmackDown, you would have just seen that match twice. Can you imagine that shit? Mm. Is anybody is anybody truly prepared for that bullshit? I... Why am I not surprised that they did it again? <laughs> And even looking at it, I'm, I'm looking at the highlights now. Uh, the New Day won, so you know what that means. I just don't... Do it 65 more times. Yep. And then people just say, but they're going to put on a new match. That's, that's not the point. And some, you know what? Then this, this, this day and age, they probably won't. It, they're not going to. Because they're not going to have a new match. I don't know what else it can do. Like, at this point, it's just... I don't understand what's going to happen anymore, bro. It, like... Hell, even Paul Heyman getting fired, that was pretty stupid. Roman Reigns got a joint called Needle Mover. Because, you know... You know, somebody... I forgot who it was at AEW said that WWE doesn't move no more. But that, uh... Yeah, no, they hey, don't. They don't like CM Punk. That's not like some shit, CM Punk. <laughs> I mean, everybody said move the fucking needle no more. They just do the same shit and then regurgitate it and throw it the fuck back up. They literally, like I said, I, I'm pretty sure I heard JD say that one time that they take the script literally back from the trash change some names and then re repeat that shit again every week. Yeah, they get the they get the shit that Vincent Man threw, threw, you know, ripped up and stuff, piece it back together, tape it back together, and then uh, they just change the date on it. Here you go. That's literally what happened. All right. But moving moving to the next thing here. Uh, did any of you guys like NXT 2.0, speaking of? I, um, I would pay attention more so to WWE stuff than social media. NXT, I'm completely, actually 100% more done with NXT. I'm not watching it. I don't know any fucking body on NXT. I'm like, oh, I can go to the school there. Hey, Ra Raquel. Okay, cool. Who's this person? I don't know. Nobody Nobody else. <laughs> All right, man. Uh, so, legitimately, uh, I want to talk about the match of the year and the pay-per-view of the year, but it's really hard at this point because the whole year was shit. And that's excluding AEW, but 
Because <laughs> if we include AEW, it's going to be like, well, AEW had all of the best shit. You know what? What was the pay-per-view with uh, Darby Allen versus uh, All Out? All Out was the pay-per-view of the year, obviously. That came on this September. Do you yep. agree, Spirit? Pay per view of the year. Pay per view of the year. And if I was to say match of the year, the best match of that pay per view was fucking. Um, yeah, red match, so don't catch what the fuck red am I thinking of? It was. Um, babe, what's the name of the. What? It was the Lucha Brothers versus the Young Bucks. Yeah, for the tag team, uh, yeah. yeah, the tag team championship. Yeah, that match was the best match of the year. Because, I want to say War Games, but, you know. No, I mean, one the part of the stands over there. You said what? Thank you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, w- I want to say War Games, but War Games was complete and under shit. So, no, I'm lying. It wasn't complete and other shit. It was good. It's just, you know, it wasn't War Games 2020 good. Twenty. 19 good, 2018 good. Yeah, because you know, I don't care what anybody fucking says. A war games without the fucking, um, without the undisputed era is not that great. <laughs> it's good, but it's not the best. Mm. And the worst. I don't even know huh? who's there. Like I said, I can't recognize not a damn person. Oh, okay. Well, how about the worst pay per view of the year? You have a lot. Mostly everything WWE. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, uh, Yeah. (laughs) Hey, yo. Any chance of our series? Holy shit. (laughs) Outside Seth Rollins dancing and people singing his song. Hey, yo, WWE pipes and booze for that now. About, in case I didn't notice about the one. Are you sure? <laughs> Are you sure it's oh, not man. WrestleMania backlash? <laughs> oh, I mean, I ain't said no. I didn't say the virus was the worst. I just said, is, is, I said all the pay per views, and I just said including the virus. Oh shit! And I actually forgot WrestleMania backlash was a thing. <laughs> It was a week That's after. So, thank you for a so it wasn't a week. It was like a, a month after, but it was like WrestleMania backlash. Cesaro versus Roman Reigns right. for the Universal Championship. Oh, really? That was on that show? Wait, it wasn't Seth Rollins versus Cesaro on that show? No, it was Roman Reigns on that show. Oh, oh. mother God, bitch. Was Seth even on that show? Uh, let me double check. WrestleMania backlash. I thought, oh, wait, no, that was the one when he beat Cesaro up after the match, right? Yes, sir. Oh, my God. What happened to Ricochet, actually? Oh. Rick, Ricochet. Oh, my bad. Chet. Chet. Did anybody remember what ah. happened to Chet? Okay. Is he still work there? Yes. Anywho, uh, seriously, so what the fuck would oh, be the worst? I, I know what happened. Who's um main event team? Ah, okay. Oh uh, shit! Looking at the pay per views that came out, we got uh, in 2021. We got Superstar Spectacle. That is not. That is it. What? What is this? Ooh. A spectacle that like a oh shit it was a indian promotion it was a uh... bailey was there okay oh that was you talking about the sephiroth the one with sephiroth and the edge out himself no 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 i was talking about superstar spectacle which is a tropicana fit which is a network exclusive pay-per-view and i need to go watch it because oh. the Singh brothers are now the Bollywood boys again. Which means they're probably wrestling like normal. Jesus Christ. Oh, never mind. They're wrestling Jinder Mahal and the Bollywood boys. Never mind. Fuck that shit. 
of course there was oh, the... I remember that show. Yeah. No, no! It was uh, the Royal Rumble. We got TakeOver Avengers Day, which was actually good. Elimination Chamber Fastlane, which was completely shit. If anybody can remember Fastlane. Uh, you know, fuck, take, fuck the TakeOvers. The TakeOvers were back. good. WrestleMania 37. WrestleMania Backlash. Hell in the Cell. Money in the Bank. SummerSlam. Extreme Rules. Crown Jewel. And fucking Survivor Series. You know what? I don't give a fuck. I think Survivor Series was the worst fucking pay per view of the year. Does anybody have any worse? Oh shit! That's gonna be y'all because I heard that I, I don't, I don't recall even watching any of them. So I guess that's how bad they was. But I don't remember which ones I watched. <laughs> that's how they blended up into together. I'm automatically disqualified from this because All right. I have not seen anything All right. since WrestleMania Backlash. All right. All right. So theoretically, Survivor Series was so fucking bad that it had no good, real good matches on it that were like astounding besides Seth Rollins because that's fucking Seth Rollins. But moving on from that. <laughs> let's go for the. All right. Now let's go on. To the next part, which is the worst pay per view matches of 2021. Does anybody have it? Anybody vaguely remember any good matches or shit matches? The uh, so called um, match with Bianca Belair and, Be- and Becky Lynch, supposedly that one. Oh, no, that, that wasn't a match. That was uh, a scuffle. Anything Eva Marie was in. <laughs> uh,. Okay, I got a list here. <clears throat> Does anybody remember the Battle Royal from Survivor Series 2021? Which one? It was a Battle Royal with Omos. Oh, shit. Yeah, that, that match was shit. <laughs> we got Bobby Lashley oh. versus Goldberg. <laughs> oh, my God. It's Summer Sam 2021. My head hurts. <laughs> we got Nia Jackson, Shayna Baszler versus Bianca Belair, and Shasha Banks at Elimination Chamber. <laughs> fucking won. <laughs> uh, of course, I wrote down Bianca Belair versus Becky Lynch in that in a scuffle. Uh, Big E versus yeah, Apollo Crews. <laughs> Biggie versus Apollo Crews at Fastlane 2021. That match was pretty shit. Uh, we got the women's tag team turmoil match at WrestleMania 37, which is why. Uh, we got Alexa Bliss versus Eva Marie, which again, literally already called that out. You got Alexa Bliss versus Shayna Baszler, which is equally shit. You got. Uh, Damian Priest versus The Miz at WrestleMania Backlash. That's why I was wondering if you could remember that shit. And The Miz, it, the Miz and Damian Priest wrestled in the commercial for, you know, Batista's movie, if anybody can remember that nonsense. And everybody, uh, the number one shittest match of 2021 to yeah, your... <laughs> to wow. Yeah, bro, bro. That was actually more my greed than anything. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think the shittiest match of all of 2021, besides anything Goldberg has been, was Randy Orton versus The Fiend. Everybody here saw that match. Uh, yeah, that's the one with Alexa Bliss and then the black blue yep. shit from, yep. with the crown. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. And Randy Orton. Yeah. Was- Does anybody agree that that is the shittest match of 2021? Uh, (laughs) To this day, I will will never understand why that was the thing that they had to do. (laughs) Guys. Yeah, I don't. Jesus Christ. Jesus fucking. All right. <laughs> Let's move on to games. <laughs> Does 
does anybody have anything else they want to say about fucking <laughs> the fucking uh, you, wrestling you, world? You need a you need a second to catch a breath, sir. I'm sorry, that match is so fucking stupid and bad. And I remember I was taking Galactic home back to Towson and it came on and it happened exactly like that. And me and him was so fucking confused on what the fuck just happened on our screen. <laughs> I will never forget that shit. That shit was so bad. And we, oh, we Galactic was just like confused. Well, Randy Orton, uh, Fiend, right? As the worst match of all of 2021. Oh yeah, that happened at uh, thing, didn't it? Mania. WrestleMania, sir. That's how long ago yes, it was. It was, it was the worst match to me of 2020. Like if anybody agrees or disagrees, say nay now, buddy. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. That's how bad that fucking match was. But. Time to move on to the gaming part of the podcast. Because we're about to be done with this shit. So a lot of games have come out in 2021. Oh, we're going right to it. Okay. Oh, no. Did anybody have anything else to say about... No, I thought it was going to take just a short intermittent, a little little small break. Nah. 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 This ain't going to be long. This ain't going to be that long. Um... So, did anybody have, you know, three games they thought was really good, you know? Sure. I could give you two. <laughs> what? I only played like two. <laughs> <laughs> I know you played more games than that, Chief. Shit, what came out this? I, I lied. I, I, have to, I have a top three. Yeah, top three games of the 2021 to you, sir. Uh... <clears throat> Oh you, oh, you want me to start out? Yeah. Oh. Um, I need it. Love. Well, my favorite game this year is Deathloop. Of course. Not a then I really enjoyed Ken of Bridge of Spirits. Of course, of course. And Yay. Then I would go with Resident Evil Village. Oh, yeah, because I, I thought you forgot about that game. I was about to say, bruh. In fact, I have to redo my list because I forgot Halo also exists. So, <laughs> 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 fucking Microsoft fanboy hopping ass. Oh my god. Why? I'm not a fanboy of Microsoft. I'm not even close. Like, okay. <laughs> 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 Halo. <laughs> Dark way. Did you want to. Do you have a top three good games of this year? Oh no, he's he's still in the middle of his raid. All right, uh, Spirit, did you have three games? You thought were the top, were the top, top balls in uh, the gaming industry? They weren't oh, shit. Top, top list. Yeah, um, upon the top. I, I did. Yes. I'm going to say, Ratchet and Clank ripped apart. Fantastic. Kano, Bridge of Spirits. Of course, of course. And I'm actually going to uh, give it to Black for Blood as well. Hmm. Hmm. I'm, I'm not fucking disappointed with that. You know, I, I'm not disappointed. I didn't decide this. But I'm going to have to say Back for Blood is shit tonight. Uh, <laughs> I'm fucking with you. You know I am. Uh, Yeah, honestly, that's a solid list too. You know, that's a solid, solid list. I like those all three of those games. Just Back for Blood could literally use an update to fix some of the shit in that game. But, you know, other than that, that's a, that's a fantastic game. Uh, so I am here, no longer rating. Okay, so, you have a top three game, sir. Top three games for the year? Yes, sir. Because we go ten, oh. all of us will be here for the rest of our fun. Uh, <laughs> what came out this year? Shit, the Tales of Ross come out this year? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. That came out this year. Um, Resi 8 came out this year, right? Came out April, right? Mm -hmm. like that. Okay. Tails, Resi 8, and. Uh, I play games. Uh, what else did I even play this year? Mm. I don't know why. 
I don't I don't anything. I played anything else really. No. Wait. Damn. Mortal Shell came out last year, right? Yeah. Uh shit. I didn't play Ratchet. Oh, I damn. didn't play Deathloop. Isn't a good game. I mean, I did try Returnal. I mean, I played my friend's Returnal. Um, Souls. Oh God, I have to redo my list again. Yeah, because it was the one of the joints for the start. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> it launched. Uh, oh, uh, Spirit, I'll you also gonna have to redo your yeah, list. You actually have to make your list. I'm gonna give y'all both five games because y'all are silly. Huh? No, uh, oh, okay, Spirit and, and, and Galactic forgot about some games and they're like, oh shit. <laughs> For this year? Yeah. Like what? I don't know. Did you play Pokemon uh -huh. Snap? No. Did I play who? Pokemon Snap. I did play Pokemon Snap. That was a good game, but that um, that's not better than Ratchet and Clank or Kana or Back for Blood, sir. Okay. okay. I would just no, add Pokemon. No game, that I have, no game that I have on my Switch. Beats anything that I was playing upstairs with my PS5. Okay. 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 All right. All right. Gal <laughs> Dark Wave, are you done with your list? <laughs> your top I, I, I honestly only have two, and that's Tails and uh, Resi 8. Damn. Um, all right. Okay. All right. Galactic. So, I mean, the, fact, the only the, the problem is, the problem is, what? I played Resi, but I don't own it yet. Mm. Um, I own Tails, and most of the games I've been playing all year. Were I mean I have I mean I, there's Outriders there's Black for Blood but I mean those games are eh. that's okay. what I mean it's like oh my god um, oh wait Black no like didn't Scarlet Nexus come out this year have a heart attack you said what came out this year wait didn't didn't Scarlet Nexus come out this year yes sir okay there you go <laughs> uh, Scarlet Nexus Tales of Arise and Resi Eight there you go. All right, that's a that's a solid list to yourself. Galactic, go and redo your list like you were saying. Okay, Jesus Christ. <laughs> um. Yeah, he moved this like he's about to break a blood vessel. <laughs> <laughs> like I legit heard him holding his breath. He was literally in his head. Was like, if he don't shut the fuck up, I can my list. <laughs> no, that's that's the COVID and the not being able to breathe. 100 oh, okay. okay. Sorry. Sorry. You legit, I, 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 I like you was holding your breath and silently cussing us out to shut the fuck up so you can't say your other game. I'm oh, sorry. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Chow <laughs> what are you doing? Daddy's dying. No, no, Daddy's dying upstairs. Okay, okay. <laughs> Jesus. Go <laughs> finish. Oh my god. Oh. I like to go. Absolutely non empires. Best game of the year. Fuck it. <clears throat> Galactic. What the fuck? Goodbye, Galactic. Bye. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Say <Okay>, bye. <laughs> Dinosaur is non uh Wild Fang is the best game of the year. Hmm. Empires, by the way. Ah. Y'all agree? Oh shit. <clears throat> no. Um Alright, here's 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 my list of the greatest games of 2021 that I have actually played and not ignored. I want to put, uh, I'm going to start off with, uh, you know, I'm going I'm, I'm to actually put like six. So I'm going to start off at the bottom. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put Halo Infinite there. While it is a great game, it is not perfect by any means. You know, it's pretty good. You know, it's a solid, solid game. <laughs> then I'm going to put, you know, right above that, I'm going to put, uh, Resident Evil 8 Village, you know, because that was a solid, solid title right there. You know, Hello? yeah. Jesus Christ. Yes. I don't know why or how I lagged out, but I did. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead and uh, give us your list, sir. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Okay. So, from, from Descending Order, 
God. I'm I'm giving Returnal number one. And then we're doing five, right? Yeah, you could do five, sir. After Returnal, I'm gonna go with Halo Infinite. Of course. Then Resident Evil Village. Of course. Then Ken and Bridge of Spirits. Sexy. And then Ratchet and Clank. All right. That's uh, that's beautiful. There. Beautiful. Yes. Did you say Death Loop? God. <laughs> death Loop is number three. <laughs> I'm gonna say, oh, sir, you done did all this. Okay. Returnal. We get it. Returnal, Halo Infinite, Death Loop. There you go. You got it. You got it, buddy. <laughs> and sorry, I would have added to my list uh, Valhalla, or I would have mentioned something about Valhalla. Except I can't fucking play my Valhalla because my Valhalla is now bugged to shit. So, <laughs> yay. That's also 2020, Chief. Oh, it is? Okay, cool. Good. But yeah, my Valhalla is still bugged to shit. <laughs> it's one of the most shaded Valhalla. Yeah. Uh, all right. So, you know, of course, my list is going to be longer because I'm the only one that, you know, because I'm the leader of this podcast. Ah, wait, wait, wait. I have to add one to my... Uh, well, actually, no. Go ahead. You go ahead first. Go ahead and add one. Add it. I'm, I'm going to put... I'm going to put the Demon Slayer game. What are you going to add? I'm going to put Demon Slayer. Ooh. But it's on the bottom, and it's mostly because I, I like the animation, and it was and it was the story. Okay. All right. Now, my list goes as follows. From the, the lowest to the highest, which is... We we'll start with Halo Infinite. You know, it's a fantastic game. Like I said, it could have been. They just need to fix a few things, namely grenades and multiplayer, and you know, add me co-op and single player, and it possibly would raise up. Then I'm gonna put. Uh, I'm gonna give it to that there Death Loop there. You know, a little bit there. Death Loop is a fantastic game. You know, but it is one of those uh, one hitter quitter type of games. I hate that shit. Resident Evil Village is the same thing above it. So I love Resident Evil Village. You know. Genuinely scary, genuinely fantastic. Uh, above that, I'm gonna put Guardians of the Galaxy. I uh, genuinely had the feels with that game, but unfortunately, it's also a one hitter quitter. I fucking hate life right now. Then I'm gonna put Tales of Arise because that game is fucking amazing. Uh, and I'm also tied with Scarlet Nessus. Uh, I'm gonna put Back for Blood. No, not no. There's not a mother. I'm gonna put Shin Megami Tensei 5 because uh, that game is fucking amazing. Then I'm gonna put, mm-hmm. put near replicate, you know, because that game. Oh, is, I played near this year. I forgot about that. Yeah, that game is fucking fire because they fixed it and did everything. Yeah, you can put that in my list. I agree with you. Thanks. Yes, my uh, number three would be Returnal, of course. Cause fuck that game. It's one of the greatest games I've ever fucking played. It took you so long to beat it, but I'm glad you did though. I was really happy that you beat it. You yeah. were so frustrated with that game. Yeah. Then it's uh, of course Ratchet and Clank. Because that was a great game. Unfortunately, a uh, one hitter quitter. I'm not playing that game again. It's Hitman 3. Hitman 3 is one of the greatest games I've played this year and one of the most oh, yeah, fucking freeform games. This year. Yeah, it did came out. It came out earlier this year. And my number one fucking game of the year, and I'm, I don't know if anybody's going to be really surprised, is actually Metroid Dread. What? Metroid Dread. No, I heard what you said. I'm, I'm in confusion. Why are you in confusion? I don't know. I would have thought something else would be your number one. It was be near replicant and Metroid Dread. Mm. Puppy. Okay. All right. Now let's look at the worst games real fast. <laughs> Uh, now, okay, I have to actually ask. When you mean like worst games, do you mean that games that like, say like you know a particular person may have you know bought Deathloop day one, and then like a week later they just traded it in? Like, would that count? And it's not saying that the game was bad, but they just particularly didn't like it. Does that count as the worst game, or is it just? Can we just do like worst games and also games you didn't like? Yeah. As well, can we kind of yeah we can join those? Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. 
Oh, no, I still have to think because I only have one at the moment. I have to think about what the fuck else. Oh, no, I have two, but I have to think some more. Okay, well, anybody else have any shitty games or games that they didn't like? Okay. okay. Since I didn't play garbage this year, I really don't. Okay. I mean, Outriders, I wouldn't say it was complete shit, but that end game hmm. was fucking garbage. Holy shit. I got a few. I Origami got... 2. Uh... <laughs> I was about to say that. <laughs> all right. So, all right, all right, all right. Hold on. Hold on. Origami, like, yeah. It's kind of like the Skyrim effect where the Skyrim has bugs and shit in it, but the bugs is just so goddamn funny that you give it a pass. No. <laughs> Man, Skyrim oh, is actually a it's good, no. funny. Because, no. Skyrim is it's at least so, a good come game. Come on. Skyrim it's is at funny. least is at least a no. Skyrim is at least a good game, whereas that other game is kind of just bland, and the glitches are just something to make you say, "Oh, look, there's actually something to make me laugh about this game." Oh, look, somebody saw me it's, through a fucking wall. Look, it's so funny. Hey, I'm sitting there crouching, all of a sudden the dead body just pops up on my shoulders. Come on. Yeah, that's don't get me fun. started with that game. <laughs> but. I'm gonna go ahead because <laughs> Spirit, do you have any games? Dynasty there? Wars Nine demo. I do. What are your games before I get to mine? Uh well, this is hilarious because this game was actually on your list, uh, Shin Megami Tensei Five. Mm -hmm. Um, I did not come into this series playing any Shin Megami Tensei games because, like, I didn't come into Persona Five playing any Persona games, but I watched Rob Fang play it, and I fell in love with Persona. Hold up, hold up, and hold up. You've played a Shin Megami Tensei game. Just, just... What? I played Persona. Which is a Shin Megami Tensei game! No, and if you go online, people hate when you do that. Fuck them! I played Persona. That's, and the reason just, why I was just. excited to get Shin Megami Tensei, it was because at your behest, and you know, it's like, okay, me thinking and it's just gonna be like Persona except different. It is very much so not like Persona, and I unfortunately went into this game thinking it was, and I unfortunately did not like it. I tried my hardest, I did not like this game at all. So not saying that it was bad, I just particularly went into it thinking it was Persona and then got let down, and then unfortunately I tried playing it then on its own at the Shimagami Tensei game, and I just did not like it. So I, yeah, Shimagami Tensei is on my list for that. Same thing with Deathloop, unfortunately. I just could not with Deathloop. I played it, I think I literally played it for like a week, and I was like, I do not like this game. And it's not even so much as me not liking the characters, I just did not like the mechanics for the game. It, it just, it was, to me, it seemed like it was just a whole bunch of shit that was just going on at, you know, one time, at one place. I was getting hella fucking confused. I, Deathloop was not for me. And that's not even saying it's a bad game, because clearly it's on you guys' list. Just Deathloop was not for me, and Shimogami Sensei was also not for me. Hey, hold fast. A guy murdered the voice actress for Mercy? What? You know, Mercy's voice actress from uh, and Cortana's voice actress? Yeah, she got murdered. What the fuck? Wait, the chick that played Mercy was from Overwatch? They were the voice, they were voice actors? Oh, wait, no, yeah, no, in Portuguese. What the fuck? It was the Portuguese actress. Fucking, ah, that's so stupid. Sorry, continue. I hate. Okay, um, that was, wow. Um, yeah, I just, those games just weren't it for me. Okay. Uh, does anybody else have any, have any, uh, names on their list? Of shit games of this year because i'm about to you know oh 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 sorry uh, uh i'm gonna put obsession to valhalla because i you actually felt like kind of like 20 i, I like 20 this game I, no i don't care i'm putting this game on 2020 here chief. On. no i don't i don't give a fuck they just came out with a big ass update so technically it's no. still fuck not this game. came out this year chief stop it i don't care fuck that game stop it moving on <clears throat> i never heard of assassin's creed mm. You ain't missing so, nothing. For, I, mean, for, I haven't played it one since three. So. For Wild Fang, Dungeons and Dragons Dark Alliance, you know, 
Oh yeah, that game was shit. That game Holy was shit. shit. <laughs> Diablo 2 Resurrected. While it may be more fun with people that I know, that game uh, did not start off great. It started off with numerous server issues and it was complete shit. They fixed it. Destruction All Stars was also shit, and I'm glad that shit was free. Uh, I'm gonna have to say Battlefield and Call of Duty were both complete garbage this year. Uh, Balan Wonderworld. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm glad I only played the demo and then said none of this. I don't give a fuck about playing the real game. Uh, the amount of people returning Aliens Fire Team Elite is astonishing. It should be enough to say what the fuck. Uh, but you know, Biomutant was uh, particularly not a fantastic game. Oh, yeah, I forgot. You know, the sad thing is, you know it's bad when you forget a game even exists. Yeah. I forgot all about the game because I have yep. that game. <laughs> that game. Oh, you know the sad shit. thing with the game? If, this is, if that game came out 10 years ago, it would have been a 10 out of 10. Yeah. 10 years ago. But uh, not in 2021. I'm sorry. And what did I say was the number one shittiest game of Nickelodeon this Nickelodeon All-Stars, All-Star Brawl? Oh, that game is complete garbage. I don't care what anybody fucking says to me. You're like, the game is what's good with blood. It has this fucking... Yeah, I'm gonna be like, nah, the game is garbage and it's really boring. It's really, really boring. You know what? If I had to pick a game... That I would say was completely the worst games out of all of them. It would definitely still be Balan Wonderworld. <laughs> that game was just bad. To the point where people, the one of the bosses, T poses before the fight starts. Back for Blood is 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 not on that list simply because I still can enjoy Back. The right cut. So out of that, I, I'm not gonna say. Back of Blood isn't terrible. It's just we've played so many, I guess, Left 4 Dead archetypes since Left 4 Dead 2 that the effect of those games are is dead to me. Like I, it doesn't excite me anymore. They're okay for like an hour and then it's over. Yeah. All right. Well, now that we had this conversation, does anybody else have anything they want to add to this podcast? Because this is the last episode until the Royal Rumble. Which would be Hi. the 29th of January. Which is... Yes. Yeah. 29th of January. Literally, we'll have probably have that podcast on the 28th. Or or the 30th. You know? You know? Or, you know. I was just going to ask, uh, we can do another list. It'll be one for next year. Which would be? What games are we looking forward to the most for next year? Elden Ring. Horizon okay. discussion. 2. Discussion. No, no, no. Discussion's over. Two games you just named comes out like the same fucking week. <laughs> I will say this. Shifu has me outside of Elden Ring. That's too easy. Shifu, I'm actually, I actually really want to play it. Um, yeah, I actually got Shifu. That's the and I, I want. Well, you have it. Uh, yeah. Like you play it now. No, I have oh, it. Yeah. I have it downloaded. No, not downloaded, but like it's like oh. sitting there on my um oh, yeah. thing, and literally I have the countdown to it. So whenever it's ready. <laughs> Some people got some early access to them. And literally, I have the countdown to it. So, whenever it's ready. Some people got some early access to them. And literally, I have the countdown to it. So, whenever it's ready. Horizon God of War and Horizon come out. God of War and Horizon both come out the same year. It is going to be. <laughs> it's yeah, like. Never mind. It's, you know what's going to be? It's the Bloodborne effect. Yeah. Because. Bloodborne was a shoe in until Witcher 3 came out. And then once that happened, it was over. The only reason why fucking Sekiro even won, because nothing came out that year. Uh, Devil so, May Cry 5. Nothing came out that year. So. What? Devil May Cry um, 5 was hot fire. 
Nothing came out that year. It it came Devil out. Devil May Cry Five. Devil May Cry Five, my guy. Nothing came out that year that was going to beat Sekiro. Devil May Cry Five. Nothing. The fuck. That's a better Devil statement. Devil May Cry Five. Really, that's a better really, statement. That is a better Devil, statement. Yes. Really Devil May Cry Five is not. Yeah, that's. I know. I'm just... You know what? If I was to be completely honest, besides Sekiro, Pokemon Legends, uh, that's one game I'm looking forward you know, to. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. Yeah. It's like I want. I'm yeah. looking forward to it, but not really for Arceus itself, because yeah. I know this is a beta for Gen Nine, essentially. Yeah. So I'm more interested in see how it's received from the fans yeah. as far as how the gameplay is. Um, and I've read some leaks about the game, which I guess my Pokemon Dark Souls thing is might come true after all. Yay! But because they talking about you have items. If you I guess if you faint in the world, you lose your items and shit like that. I don't know, but we'll have to see if that's actually legit or not. But yeah. uh, I'm looking forward to it because it is a different type of Pokemon game, essentially. Yep. So, and this is basically a beta. So. Yeah. Uh, what else am I looking? For? Oh, um, there's. What else? Uh, of course, there is uh, Evil West. I was looking forward to that too. Uh, I don't know if that came Gotham out. Knights, if it ever fucking releases. Gotham Knights is not next year though. Like she's out. She said next. It year. is next year. Oh, Gotham Knights is coming it out is next, next year? year. Both of them are. Suicide okay. Suicide Squad and Gotham Knights. I'm looking forward to you know, of course, uh, Stranger of Paradise to see what they do, and see if they update it. Uh, and what Triangle Strategy? Uh, unfortunately, that shitty name. I gotta. I'm looking forward to Kirby. In the uh, Forgotten Land. Yeah. Uh, there's Starfield to see if they finally show something. Um, and I know this game is probably not going to come out next year, even though they say it is, but I'm going to just throw it in there. Oh, yeah, and Bayonetta 3 for me. Uh, 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 yeah, Bayonetta 3. Forgot about that. But uh, Forspoken, even though I know it's not coming out next year. Yeah, uh, and then uh, what else? Those Gotham Knights, like you said. Grand Blue Fantasy Link. God of War Ragnarok. Oh, bro, that should look good. Mm -hmm. Even better than before. It did. Uh, what else is out there? Because I I wrote a list. I'm trying to find my list. I'm trying to. I have my list. I have Horizon Forbidden West, Pokemon Legends, Solar Ash actually came out this year. I actually need to get that. Little Devil Inside, although they, I still have to look for a date for that. Stray. God of War Ragnarok, Kirby and Forgotten Land, and then there's this other game I had called The Ragnarok. Which... Oh, you, you know what games I'm looking forward to? Evil West, Sonic Frontiers, Suicide Squad, Gotham Knights, Wonder Woman game to see what Star Trek Resurgence, Suicide Lies Squad. of P, and Iter. But uh, that's the name of a few things. Uh, Sonic Frontiers because, you know, we'll see. Uh, Galactic thinks that... Uh, it's gonna be good, but I I, I, I don't think so. Uh, Gotham Knights, I don't know, because it's the same people who made Arkham oh, Origins. Shit. Suicide Squad is from the same people. Does Wonder Woman. Wild Two come out next year? Nope. We have no release date for that game. Yep. Okay. Other than that, uh, yeah. Other than that, that's all I'm looking forward to. The game that I think is actually going to be shit next year is what is it? What Dynasty is it? Warriors Nine Empires. <laughs> <laughs> There was another one. There was another one that I know is going to be shit when it comes out. Uh, Harry Potter. Uh <laughs> I'm being so mean to Harry. Stop it. Get some help. Spirit. Stop. Spirit. Have you ever played that game, Dragon Ball Sagas? Oh my no. god. Okay, so let's the just say this. Trash. Breakers is not going to be shit. It's not only going to be shit, but I don't even know why they made this game. But Breakers, babe, um... It's going to be a shit game, but the same people who made Dragon Ball Sagas, look it up, is making this Harry Potter game. Now, I trust them about as much as I can throw them. So, therefore, I already know it's not going to be a good game. Also, Babylon's Fall, I don't think it's going to be a good game. That game is fucking trash. <laughs> oh, this, this new fucking machine creature looks fucking amazing. Uh, Lost Ark, I don't know about that. And of course, Rainbow Six Distraction. Other than that, 
I have no. Oh, and Monster Hunter Rise is coming for PC. Yay! Fucking dickheads. I'm not getting that. I'm not getting that. Asshole. Anywho, other than that, anybody else have anything they want to? Oh, Play Plague Tale Two is coming out. I know you like that spirit, that, that game. What's that? Plague Tale Two. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I still gotta beat the fucking first one. This game was just so goddamn sad that I, I don't even want to play it no more. But I want to play it because it's a good story. And I like the characters, but it's just so fucking sad. What game? Plague Tale Requiem. Uh, but Plague Tale. Oh. But I love and I love the music too, and it's 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 amazing. It looks great, but it's just so fucking sad. It's like it, it reminds me. It's like the movie Joker. Like the movie is sad, but you, it's so good that you just want to keep watching it. But it's sad. All right. Did anybody else have anything they want to add? Mm -hmm. you, oh, I I have yeah. one last thing to say. For this year before it's over in our gaming um what the fuck is going on with sony and finally releasing plates late to the party and the controllers latest shit to the party i mean nobody could get the fucking console so did it matter yes did it matter for them to come out with plates for like no 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 the console more into more people's hands and two why it's are you releasing plates problem. after the fact that other here's places are releasing problem. your it's plates not sony it's not sony's fault that fucking scalpers now i'm not saying giving sony a pass with their bullshit with the whole you know the pre-order and this shit for them because that was fucked up on all fronts that was fucked up um but it's not necessarily directly sony's fault I, so if I was Sony, I'm like, I can't control Walmart online shit. I can't control Target. I can't control that shit. I can only control Sony. But that's, yeah, so that's, that's not necessarily anything of Sony's fault. It's fucking people's fault. Yeah. That's what I mean. You have to do what we have to do to try to make sure we get actual people who actually want these damn things to finally fucking get them. Yeah, that makes then people could stop sitting here saying, I got two of these when I don't. That's weird when people say, you got two PlayStation? Wow. Oh, I got one PlayStation. I'm not going to lie. You're an idiot. I, like, you're better than me because I'd call people. Look, you dumb fuck. <laughs> two PlayStations? Do I? Well, no. Anywho. All right. Uh, also, they had like a million controller colors. Price. All Girls, people that got them for like you know my other coworker who just bought one for his kids and shit. So now it's like, well, we ain't got just this boring white ass controller that's going to sit here and get dirty fast. Which I'm literally probably going to end up getting rid of my one, my other white one to get maybe like that little that purplish joint or that blue one. That joint actually did look pretty cool. And then I I, I kind of don't really like I don't want to do a skin, so I'm gonna just get one of those. But, yeah, I can see that being in a household. You know, you got two kids. And it's like, all right, kids are dirty. So, let's get different colors. This one is yours. You get the pink one, and somebody gets the purple one. Call it a day. All right. All right. Said before you hop off to anything else. Nobody. Nope. Okay. Oh. What about you? All right. So that being said, I'm proud of you know everybody for the year. You know we did take off a little bit of a fucking break for some reason, but then we uh, we came back with a fury. And I like to thank everybody been here. Gone for a minute, and now we chat with the jump off. What okay. spirit I'm said. Sorry. All right. I'm sorry. So yeah, now now that we're here, um, I'm glad. Uh, I will see you guys. In uh, late January next year, of course, we will finish this. You no, know, of course, of course. Well, how late January? Because RCS comes out January, late January. 
we are going to continue around Royal Rumble. Okay, well, um, uh... Royal Rumble! And then, of course, you know, we're rebranding the channel. Uh, of course, the podcast and shit is going to... It's not really changing. Hey. Hey, but the channel is getting a whole new... couple new things. Hey. Hey. All right. Are we still alive? Yes, we are. Yeah. So, everybody, y'all have a good one. Take your vacation, you know. The podcast, don't have to worry about it unless y'all... Of course, the next things we're going to be doing is probably a Spider-Man review. Uh, <laughs> Look forward get... to a Resident Evil review. Oh. Now that my brain has finally got over that fucking atrocity. Yes, sir. Okay. Almost that too, my coworkers too, because they don't try to pull uh, Spider-Man. Mm. <laughs> yep. We're going to do a Spider-Man review on the 23rd of this month. 23rd or 24th of this month. Uh, Not the 23rd. Fuck. Uh, that's watch it. Yeah. So you want me to you want me to work, go see a movie, and then come home and go do a podcast, sir. Podcast. It's a review. Okay. Or a review. Whatever. Sir. We can do the review anytime. Just God. Jesus. All right. And then of course when Sonic come out, you know we're all gonna go see that in the movie. I still haven't even seen the first fucking one. I should probably go look at it. It's on Hulu. Go watch it. Not watching it, apparently. All right. All right, guys. Been watching The Witcher. Yeah, you've been watching The Witcher. But, okay. And, guys, you guys enjoy yourself. Y'all have a good one. And we are out. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year's, guys. Yeah, see you guys in the world. And don't forget what that mouth do. Nope. <laughs> ah, yes, yes. Uh, Galactic, we're going to have to have a conversation about your PR duty, buddy. <laughs> you know, especially about, you know, what that mouth do to Vince's anus. No. Yes, we are. Why? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Look, I just want to talk about the Japanese prison rape of Vincent Man's Dusty's asshole with his mouth. Oh, oh, my God. Good. Everybody Goodbye. loves it. Where is that damn fourth chaos emerald?